Good morning, guys. I'm here in my car. I'm getting ready to go to work. And I'm signing with one hand. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Let's just make this quick, okay? So here's another PCOS uh, update. I, I think it's number five. Uh, I can't remember. Okay, so for the past three weeks, I've been um, taking metformin with my inositol, my myo D and cryo D inositol. And I must, I must admit, I did not want to take metformin. I'm going to tell you right now, I did not want it. I took, I was researching all the natural ways of, of trying to fix the PCOS or the insulin resistance. That's the target that we're trying to work on without metformin. And unfortunately, part of it worked, but not the rest. Just to give you some feedback of what's been going on with my body, I thought I injured myself working out a lot. I teach approximately uh, 13 classes a week in different locations um i teach four right i lose count sometimes four to five aqua classes that's why i'm in my bathing suit and i also teach yoga and pilates okay so i teach yoga and pilates also four times a week uh, aqua fitness sometimes i teach two to three classes a day so it's a it's a lot Anyway, I thought I injured myself because it was very painful to wake up in the morning. My feet were sore. My ankles and my heel, my heel specifically from the bottom of my foot was so inflamed. It felt like needles were going up my leg and up my spine. It was hard for me to walk or even stand in the morning after some stretches and drinking and massaging and all that stuff, then I would be able to get on with my day. But it was still painful throughout the day. I bought arch support, I bought compression socks. I was buying a whole bunch of things just to continue to work. Well, for the past three weeks, as I said, I've been taking metformin with um, my multivitamin and along with my myo and cryo D and I don't feel that pain as much anymore. That was all part of the insulin resistance. That pain that I felt, my joint pain was coming from my PCOS being out of control and the insulin resistance being out of control. My A1C, great. I'm pre I am not even pre-diabetic, I'm in the normal stages. My cholesterol is fabulous. My pressure is fabulous. Um, sometimes I, I can't even read the hundreds with my blood pressure. It, it's like basically um, 90 over. What was, the what was the last time I had my blood pressure? I'm just giving you guys some feedback, okay? I think it was 98 over 61. So for my nurses out there, you tell me if that's yay or... Should I be scared about having low blood pressure? I don't think so. I think that I've, I've always had low blood pressure since my kids. So since I've been a kid anyway. Um, so yeah, my weight is going down. My energy levels are getting higher. I'm sleeping a little bit better at night. I still have a lot of cortisol because I can feel myself at two in the morning grinting my teeth. So I'm working on... Um, aromatherapy like lavender because I love the smell of lavender it calms me down um, I'm working on increasing my meditation because I meditate a lot as well so that's that's just my update guys the metformin is working I'm seeing a big difference in my body I'm seeing a difference in my eating habits um, I used to not eat a lot I worked out a lot but not eat a lot and in the fitness world, remember, I'm a fitness professional, so you're going to hear it from me, you're going to hear it. Sometimes they're going to say, you are you need to put the cookie down. Put the cookie down, you know, because you're that's why you're getting all that weight. 
and and sometimes it's just not the case it's just not because i wasn't eating much uh, my doctor would ask me what my nutrient content was and to be quite honest my nutrient content i wasn't eating to the activity i was doing i was producing a lot more activity and not consuming enough energy and that can be a huge problem um that's a condition called uh, exercise anorexia or another way of that so you know that's something we got to be careful for uh i didn't think i was developing into an eating disorder but uh, i was scarily progressing into that because i knew that something had to give I'm working out all this time, I'm relaxing, and yet the weight was ballooning. The weight started staggering when I went to myocryo and stopped working out as much and really focused on rest. But now it's really going down and I'm eating more. <laughs> Especially in the morning, I'm eating a lot more in the morning and eating a lot less at night. Um, my snack attacks before I go to bed is not as crazy. Um, my desire to eat sugar has decreased significantly. So I did promise I would give you an update. So that is my update. I'm trying to keep it less than 10 minutes. Um, so that way it's not too boring. <laughs> but um, thank you for listening. And I do hope all this helps. Till next time.